switching gears a bit. So we both have a background in bartending. Oh. And I, uh, it's so interesting what you can learn, what I've certainly learned and taken away from it and the people that I've met. What life skills have you gained from bartending? Oh, my God. So much. I, <laughs> I don't know who I'd be if I didn't have – that as an experience, I mean, I've been bartending since I was 21 and I'm 37 now. There you go. Yeah. And um, I mean, it teaches you how to deal with people. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it just, uh, you have to find a connection really quick. Really um, quick. Really quick. Right away, you know. Um, it, and with bartending, it's like, it, it's not just about the drink. It's kind of like a, a pure connection, like finding yeah. something that, you know, we have in common, mm -hmm. kind of like sparking up a conversation, um, yeah, there's so much like with bartending because you have to <laughs> you're you're serving people. I think that's the first thing is you learn like that it's about the customer. It's about mm -hmm. them and making sure their experience is as best as possible. Mm -hmm. And it's less about the actual drink itself. Um, and there's so many different types of people that you have to quickly. Yeah, I'm sure it's helped you in everything else that you're doing. Yeah, right? definitely. Um. Yeah, that I I don't even know where to start with this. Like, I feel like just even if like you come into the bar, right? Like yeah. right away, I'll I, first thing I would ask like, or how are you doing? How's yeah. your day going? Like, what can I get you to drink? You know, and then from there, I make the cocktail, and then I, I, for me, like I would always try to like create a very welcoming atmosphere for the person. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, how does that happen? How do you set the tone with the atmosphere? Yeah, well, I mean, I usually just ask about how, like depending on how busy I am, right? Cause yeah, it, yeah. like this is- Yeah, this that is, changes totally. Right, cause if I'm like working at like, I don't know, at 12.30 a.m. on a crazy busy night on a Saturday, I don't really have time for any of that. You know, yeah. it's just more so like, what can I get you to drink? All right, cool. And even- Sometimes it, the customers don't understand that. Sometimes, <laughs> right, yeah. Especially like after a few drinks and they want to have like a long yeah. conversation with you or I don't know it's just it just depends on like what atmosphere um but for the most part you know I always try to like create a very fun atmosphere for the person and yeah. I and and for me it makes it fun to connect with like you if you were to come in the bar like yeah. just to make kind of like I don't know just the time more impactful yeah so then you can apply kind of that creating that atmosphere and kind of th that positive tone with all the other people you interact with on a daily basis, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, you're able to, you know, they call it like the service industry, but it's really like the people industry, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah it definitely is. What's your favorite drink? My favorite drink, oh God, it's changed so much through the years. Um, and what's funny is like, I barely drink now. <laughs> I'm the same way. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's so interesting. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to ask you a question. Like, sure. okay, so why why do you think that is? <laughs> uh, so we, it used to be different. Like the bar I work at, it used to be like the staff would almost party like every night mm -hmm. in a way. But it's become this like creative hub where it's a whole bunch of creatives that are all doing their own thing and entrepreneurs that is like, we kind of got other stuff going on and we have to we have to be sharp with everything that we're doing. And uh, I'd rather use drink more intentionally, mm -hmm. um, you know, whether it's like celebrating. I, I say I have these like three. There's three C's and I can only drink for the three C's. And that's um, celebration, company or creativity. Oh, I love that. So, but the issue is, yeah. I can justify in my head oh, all three of those that's at true. Time. Depending, right? <laughs> so, so that's where discipline comes in, uh -huh. and just understanding, like, you know, just more perspective. Uh huh. What about you? Wow. Well, okay. I, I gotta say, I mean, I've for the first maybe ten years of bartending. I mean, it was nothing but shots, like yeah. all night long, with people coming in and then the staff because after yeah. like a certain hour say i work at like a 2 a.m bar right mm -hmm. usually the staff will start drinking kind of like around 12 30 a.m because okay. it's like closer to the end of the night yeah because we're not about to like take a bunch of shots in the beginning of the night but during that time we start taking shots 
And yeah. then it just continues. And then after work, we're continuing to drink. And sometimes we end up at another bar. Like I would say that that a was lot of the times, a, almost all the time. <laughs> then you like say, you know, like you're making all this money and then you're spending all this money because you also want to like take care of your servers and your bartenders. Yeah. And then, the then the you night. start hearing those birds chirping. Yes. At night. Yes. Like in the morning after yeah. you're at the late night bar. Yeah. And it starts, the sun starts to come up a little bit. You see people on their runs yep. and joggers and you're like, oh man. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, I'm hungry now. Yeah. So let me like go get some food. And then you come yeah. home and you're like, okay, why did I do this to myself? And then you just continue to do it again. So that was like my life for quite some time. Yeah. <laughs> it's no longer like that. <laughs> yeah. But now um, when I do drink a cocktail it's usually like gin based or tequila based and i i really like um fresh ingredients so if they have okay. whatever whatever it is that um is made fresh then i would usually opt for that one over anything else so gin what's your favorite gin um that's my favorite gin i mean i like good old hendrix hendrix yeah, yeah. good old hendrix yeah how about yeah. you uh yeah i usually i usually go different seasons right so mm -hmm. like summer coming up summer now it's like i'll just do like mezcal and a rock mm. uh tuxedo number two martini when i do gin mm -hmm. so i like the koval gin hendrix i like um what's this i like this new one the roku roku yeah uh -huh. roku gin by the same i think suntory mm -hmm. makes it that's pretty good and then like bourbon mm -hmm. like uh, old-fashioned or something okay nice you do the old fashions with um like Demamara sugar cube. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's the best way. Yeah. Um 